The Senate is set to cast its first vote on health care reform tomorrow. It is a procedural vote to determine whether to begin debating the measure. CBS News congressional correspondent Nancy Cortez is in Washington with more. Nancy, good morning. Russ, good morning. The government-run public option that has been the focus of so much controversy would only end up covering about three to four million people under this Senate bill, according to congressional estimates. But there are other policies in the bill that would affect tens of millions of Americans. Kathy Elkins lost her job six months ago and now volunteers at this Virginia food bank. With an income of $13,000 a year, she can't afford health insurance. Anything could pop up at any time and, and could ruin me. Under the new Senate health care bill, she'd qualify for free health insurance, Medicaid. The bill extends Medicaid benefits to Americans making up to 133% of the poverty level. In Kathy's state, Virginia, that means individuals making less than $14,000 a year, or families making less than $29,000. Americans making more than that, up to roughly $88,000 per family, would get tax credits to help them afford private insurance. The lower your income, the more you'd get. Credits would be worth anywhere from a couple hundred dollars to thousands. But those who don't purchase insurance, even with those incentives, will face fines. $75 the first year, $350 the second, and $750 after that. Republicans are blasting the plan, saying states are going to end up footing the bill for the poor. Of course, to pay for all those tax credits, there will also be some new taxes. And one that has gotten a lot of attention is a 5% tax on elective cosmetic surgery that's been nicknamed the Bow Tax. The bill's authors say that tax would help them raise nearly $6 billion over the next 10 years. Russ? Cute. Nancy Cortez in Washington. Thank you very much.